Hey guys, Adam here, owner of DirectionTrader.com. Let's do today's mid-morning uh, recap and looking forward video. It's almost quarter after nine here on the West Coast, so uh, just after 11 o'clock Central. It is the, uh, it's FOMC. We have Fed minutes today uh, coming out here in a couple hours, guys. So the rest of the day could be a little bit sloppy, a little bit slow until they come out. Um, so I would encourage you to be a little bit cautious moving forward. As far as what happened today, typical Fed day, guys. Not a lot of things were perfectly correlated. And we had to be really, really, really conservative in uh, the way we traded this morning in the live trading room. Um, but we were able to go ahead and take some positions and have some good setups. So let's go ahead and talk about the markets and see what we need to do moving forward. And a lot of things are going to be determined on how the markets react to what is said this afternoon. But let's throw it out there. So let's throw out some price levels and see if we can uh, come up with maybe a, an approach um, based on the markets right now and then see what we can do moving forward. So here we have the Dow. Um, inside day, guys, on these markets. Um, first thing we came in this morning, we noticed that we were trading inside of yesterday's trading range. In a sloppy trading environment, inside day tells us one of two things. Um, we're we're going to have to be patient or we're going to look to be very conservative in the way that we trade. Um, basically, in a sloppy, day, a sloppy environment with an inside day, today's trading inside of the previous day's trading range, we we're going to originally look to, to sell the highs and buy the lows. That is the demeanor that we have going into the day. Um, that's what we look to do, and that's what we did today. So we looked to, um, you know, look to buy the lows, and then when we got up towards the, the previous day's highs, we looked to sell the highs. And uh, we have certain parameters that we we, we use to, to set up trades um, on an intraday basis um, on smaller time frames. But uh, nonetheless, that is the overall demeanor that we were that we came in today looking at. And you, you see today it worked out pretty well. We uh, we opened up here down low. We had a nice little uh, uh, bounce off the previous day's lows, came up, and now we're bouncing off the previous day's highs. I want to step forward and look at the Russell real fast. The Russell's been dragging this market around um, for, for quite some time now. So basically the Russell has been the leader in, in most things, um, most days uh, moving forward. Right out of the gate today, the Russell was the one that popped original, originally. It was the one that got the original pop to the upside, and then it started to fizzle around here and then sold off drastically. Now, using an intraday chart, we're going to be able to see that a little bit better. Let me pull up just a smaller time frame. You see here the Russell started to tank around the 7 o'clock area, started to really sell off around 7 o'clock. Let's go over to the S&Ps. Now the S&Ps are starting to sell off much, much later. You see 7 o'clock here on the S&Ps, we were still actually technically pushing higher. So the Russell, once again, is the leader in this, in this field here with, the, with leading the instruments and, and selling off. Usually what you have is you have, say in today's example, you had the S&P pushing higher, you had the YM pushing higher, and you had the NASDAQ pushing higher. But at that time when they were still pushing higher, you had the Russell rolling over here and just falling out of bed. So the Russell, without a doubt, was a leader to the downside today. And it is now causing these other instruments to roll over and start to sell off here and, and get more in touch with it. Which is, which is still going back to our analysis uh, from earlier this morning. What are we looking to do? We're looking to sell the highs, buy the lows. What did we do today really well? Bounce off the lows to the upside and then sell the highs. So the analogy of a sideways market trading inside of the previous day's trading range still holds true, but I also wanted to point out that we have been paying close attention to the Russell and how the Russell has really been the one pulling these markets around um, for quite some time, for several months now, guys. So just a little heads up there moving forward. So what do I see right now? Let's go back to the Russell. Since it is the one that's in charge right now, um, you see the Russell's down at this support. We've been at this support for a long, long time here. Between these 1080s and these 1100s, this has been the support on the Russell for a long time. Thing is now is we are channeling down and we are channeling down into this support. So it is really getting pinched in here and it's time for it to go ahead and make a break. It's either going to stop making lower highs and start to break through to the downside, or we're gonna start another run back to the upside here. It's just a matter of time. I think it's within weeks 
maybe days whenever we start to make this decision. Now, the overall feeling of the market is that we are going to break to the downside. But being a technical trader, I'm not going to anticipate that until I see it. So once I see this thing start to break to the downside, then I'll continue my operation to the downside. But until that point, I'm gonna just going to keep trading what I see on a technical basis. And what I said today by using the previous day's price action has helped us substantially make some money. Yesterday we had a monster day selling the previous day's highs and, and selling it all the way down to the previous day's lows and then buying the lows. The exact same thing happened today. We came in with the same analogy. We weren't able to sell the highs in the Russell, but we were in like the S&P because it was able to trade up to the highs. So just a great way to go ahead and look at these markets. So as long as we keep on trading these sideways manners, I'm going to have to keep on looking at the previous day's price action to determine how I'm going to day trade um, the current day's price action. So bounce around a little bit today, guys. Um, I know, but I hope today helped and hope you can look into that a little bit further for yourselves and hope there's some value there for you. But be careful the rest of the day moving forward. We have Fed coming out here in about an hour and 40 minutes. So be very careful going into that time. You could see some sloppy, choppy movement. But that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope you're picking up on some of these things. I hope they help you out. But if you have any questions, you can always email me, adam at directiontrader.com. If not, thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good afternoon.